here. That's Michelle. Hi. <laughs> just you and me. So I haven't started yet. I'm just waiting to see if anyone else is going to join. I think it's a bit hot. Um, also, this lighting is terrible. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's just like um, I can unmute you for a second. Can I? Oh, look, you can unmute yourself. Oh, there we go. Hi, Millie. Another one joining. We'll just give everyone a few more minutes. Can everyone hear me all right on there? Good. Okay, we just are only just after half past. Well, well done, Michelle and Millie, for joining. I know it's a bit warm today, so um, we'll see how we get on in this heat. Um, and we'll go from there. Um, I'll get going um, and then we can sort of um, see if anyone else is joining. Um, I think everyone knows we're recording it and they're thinking we're going to do it in a bit cooler cooler weather. But um, if at any point, so this is my first uh, Zoom class. So if at any point you can't hear me or if you can't see me, just wave frantically um, and we'll just work through it. Um, you might have to bear with me. I'm a little bit of a fun when it comes to technology. Um, but yeah, we'll just keep going. So um, obviously I'm just covering for Claire with this class. Um, I'm Laura. I've just started doing the Pilates classes at the OST. Um, I presume no one's got any injuries. Everyone's good to go. Yeah, thumbs up, thumbs up, fabulous. All right, so let's just come back. So we'll just come back into the mat. Just make sure your band's close to, to hand with the class. Can everyone see me there all right and hear me okay? Yeah, good, okay. So let's just start um, just setting up the pelvic floor a little bit. So feet and um, hip width apart and just making sure you haven't got too much of a curve and that's fine. Tucking up that pelvic floor a little bit. A nice relaxed shoulders, dropping those shoulder blades into the back pocket there. Imagine you've got a helium balloon, just pulling up through the neck, just bringing a nice stretch through there, okay. Lovely, so let's just start with some shoulder rolls, okay, we'll just get everything warmed up a little bit. Just making sure those shoulder blades are still tucked down. Okay, I'm not dragging the shoulders up, stretching up through that neck, feeling nice and long through there. Good, lovely. Excellent. And we'll just add a toe raise into there as well. So as you swing up, just bring your toes up and back down. Just test the balance a little bit and get the glutes activated. Okay, so if you just grab your band, um, we're just going to start with work up in that thoracic area first. We're just going to get that chest open and just get some nice pet stretch going through there. Um, so if we just bring our bands up to the front, and you're just going to bring them up to your ears, but you're going to pull outwards a little bit as you do so. With this one, play around with how much sort of slack or not you don't want. Um, if you want a bigger stretch, you can have another little bit less. Um, less tense bands and get a nice stretch through there. But just open up that chest space. Same again, just making sure those shoulder blades are tucked under yeah. into the back pocket. Okay, good. Lovely. A couple more of those. So we're just going to go into the mermaid stretch. So we're going to keep those arms forward, but you might want to have a little bit less slack on the band. So you want to have a little bit tighter. 
Um, and you're just going to bring your arms up, keeping those shoulder blades tucked under and that neck nice and elongated. When you do, I'm just going to lean to the side. But what you're doing, you're using this bottom hand to hold the top hand down. So the power is coming through this hand. And you're just pulling that, and you're going to feel a nice stretch all the way down there. Okay. I'm just going to hold that for a few seconds. Good. And then bring your hands back up. And then we're going to come down to that left hand side. And you just pull down with that bottom hand. Pull that top hand down. Good. Lots of being able to stretch and just back you out. Get everything warmed up. Lovely. Let's go one more each side. Good. And one more side. Good. Okay. Lovely. So we're going to um, bring the arm behind your back. Okay. And you're just going to um, put your hands. Um, you're going to get the elbows tucked into the sides, but you're not squeezing them in. You can have a little bit of a gap in there. Um, and we're just going to come into Dalmata. So you're just going to rotate those arms outwards. You just open up through the thoracic space. You're sliding those shoulder blades down. So you won't be using the band too much with this one. Um, we're going to progress it to start using the distance band. So that at the moment, it's more of a movement going through there. Okay. Just keeping that pelvic floor nice and contracted as well. Lovely. Good. Okay, so our palms are face up at the moment. So we're just going to progress this one into a Cleopatra. So as we bring the arms out, you're then going to pop the palms face down as you straighten the arms out. So you're straightening those arms out right over to the opposite wall. So they're coming out, turning the palms face down, stretching out. You feel that nice stretch through there and a little bit of resistance on the band as well. Good. Just warming up those rotator cuffs a little bit. And again, just with any of these exercises, play around with that resistance band to what feels comfortable for you. Good. Let's go a couple more. That's good. Okay, so let's um, come and stand onto our band. So you're going to hold onto the edges of the band um, and we're going to pop our feet onto the top of the band like that. Okay, and um, you want your feet, it depends how long your band is. My band's not very long, so if you've got a nice long band, you want your feet a little bit more than hip width and you're just going to turn them out into that kind of plie position. So 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock there with the feet. Um, and we're not going to do anything with the arms first of all, but we're just going to come into a plie there. Okay, so pulling up through that pelvic floor um, and engaging in that core. If I come to the side as well. So the knees are going over the feet um, in terms of direction, but actually you're sitting back into the glute there. Perfect. Let's just do a few more of those. And then we're going to challenge this one a little bit more. And we're ready. Okay. So keeping going with the plies there, we're just going to bring the arms into it. So all we're going to do as you bend down, you're going to bring the arms up a little bit. Okay. Just getting a little bit more work out in the biceps there, while still keeping nice control through that plie. Good. Making sure those shoulder blades are still nice and tucked back, you're not shrugging the shoulders up with it. Good. Excellent. I hope everyone else is as warm as I am. But the room is no air <laughs> Fabulous. Okay. So we're going to do one more plie there, and we're going to hold into that plie, and then we're just kind of coming to some pulses in there. So just a small little movement, you'll just start feeling that activating the legs there, feeling a little bit of a burn and just a little bit of tension in the arms as well. Good, and come back up. 
And we're going to go back down again and into those boxes. Good. Feeling that burn in anything? Okay, so just be careful as you step off your band, it doesn't pin up. Um, we're going to come and lay onto our backs now, okay? So just kind of get yourself comfy on the mat. I'm going to move that out of the way now. Okay, I'm actually going to lay this way. Perfect. Okay, so we're just going to set up where we are at the moment, okay? We're going to find that nice rest position. So feet hip width apart. Make sure your feet aren't too close to your bottom there. They're nice distance. Um, and we're just gonna nice smiley collarbones, tuck those shoulder legs back into the back pockets. And we're just gonna pull up through that pelvic floor and just tighten through there. You want a little bit of a push down into the mat, but you're not trying to flatten the spine. Okay. Um, and you're just gonna that's gonna be our rest position. You're gonna hold through there. So we're gonna go into a one leg stretch. Okay. So when we're ready, tuck the band over one foot. Okay, um, find the slack that you want on there and um, you're going to bring that foot into the tabletop position, okay, and then you're going to extend the foot up to the top of the, uh, you want to extend it to the corner of the, where the ceiling and wall meets. So if you've got clothing, try and get it up there, okay. And again, you can just play around with the slack a little bit, just making sure that hip, the hips aren't twisting or rotating there. And on that stationary, you don't want any wobble. You want to make sure you've got lots of champagne or something, and you don't want to spill it. Okay, keep going for me. I'm just going to have a quick look at the screen. Perfect, that's it. Good. Okay. So from there, we're going to come back into that tabletop position. Okay, so we're going to go with a lift and lower there. So you're going to extend the leg out, and then you're going to go up and down. So you're coming up and then towards the mat. You don't want to go too far down, the pelvis starts to rock forward, okay? Keep engaged through that pelvic floor. And you're just feeling that movement. So this one, it's a little bit easier on the way up because you've got help from the band, but you've, you've got more pressure on the way down to push through that resistance. Fabulous. Okay, let's bring that leg back up. So you're going to bring the leg up towards the ceiling and we're just going to go into some leg circles, okay? So same again, you don't want a huge, you know, if you're doing big circles like this, you're going to rock out, okay? So you want to keep your pelvic floor and your pelvis nice and stable and you're just rocking within that range of motion. Okay, and relax that leg back down. Just kind of bring that knee up into a little bit of a hug. Let that leg relax back down a bit. Good, and then we're going to come into the same on the other side, okay? So when you're ready, just popping that back onto the foot. And we're just going to bring that foot into a table position there. Just making sure you're activated through your pelvic floor and your core. And we're just going to go into that one leg stretch. So just bringing the foot and a 45 degree angle towards the corner of the ceiling there. And then back to tabletop.
is okay. Last one on that side. Lovely. And then we're going to go into a lift and lower, okay? So when you're ready, extending that leg out, and then you're just going to come up and down, back towards the mat, and up towards the ceiling. Same again. Just keeping held through that core, making sure that pelvis isn't dropping forward. Brilliant. So same again, the leg doesn't need to come too high for this one. It's more about getting that resistance. That's it, good. On the band. Lovely, a couple more. Good, okay, and then we're going to bring that leg all the way up and we're going to come into those leg circles again. Okay, and same again, you don't want a huge circle that you're drawing on your toe, otherwise you start to rock that pelvis out just as far as is comfortable for yourself. So same again, just hugging that left leg up. Get a little bit of stretch through there. So we've worked a lot with the flexors there, so we're just going to bring the arms up, up, up over your head by your shoulders, and you're just going to stretch those legs out as well. Just feel that nice stretch through the hip flexors there. So we're going to come into um, some bridges, okay? So first of all, we'll just set the bridge up and go without our arms, okay? But just keep it close to us because we're going to bring that into it, okay? So you might want to bring your feet a little bit closer to you, to you um, for this one. Um, but we're just going to, we're going to engage the core, activate that pelvic floor. You're just going to peel, you're going to tuck that pubic bone um, under, that tailbone under, and you're going to peel each spine segment off one little bit at a time. As if you're peeling off some velcro and then pushing up onto that bridge. You're going to hold it there for a little bit. And as you breathe back out, you're going to peel each segment back down to the mat. One little segment at a time and then let that tailbone go. And same again. Breathe out, tuck that tailbone under that. Bringing everything up. A nice in breath to hold. And as you breathe out, each segment just one at a time, trying to stick that velcro back down and then to the tailbone. Good, okay. Keep going. So you're always moving on the out breath. So you inhale to hold as you breathe out, you're dropping everything back down. Little breath in there as you exhale, tucking that tailbone under. And up into the bridge. Good. Keep going for me. Let's just pop this back. Good. Brilliant. Well done. And then dropping each segment down one little bit at a time and just finishing with the glutes there. Fabulous. Good. Keep going. We'll do a couple more. Just do one more there, and then what we're going to do, we're going to um, bring the band into a little bit. So we're just going to start off um, bringing the band um, up overhead. So you want about the slack of, of your shoulder width, okay? Um, and we're just going to hold that band there, okay? So this is just going to challenge your balance a little bit more with those bridges. So exactly the same, deep breath into your head as you breathe out, tucking that tailbone under, and bring yourself back up into that bridge and then breath out to lower everything down a little bit at a time. Good. And we're just keeping those arms up above our head, reaching towards the ceiling, just changing that balance a little bit more.
And then do one more like that. And then what you're going to do, you're going to hold up into that bridge shape for me, okay? And we're actually just going to go with some dips there with the glue, okay? So you're going to do one side first. So you're just going to drop that dip down a little bit and then bring it back up. So you're not dropping back down to the mat. You're just feeling one glue switch on and off and you're also noticing. So left side drop down and back up. Right side drop down and back up. And you'll just feel that little extra activation going in the group there while you're switching it on and off. That will be a nice, nice bit of burn in there as well. And still testing that balance with the band up. Good. So that's going to be two more on each side. And then just peel back down, back to the mat. Okay, so this time we're going to do something, um, we're going to bring the arms into it a little bit, okay. So as you peel up into the bridge, you're going to bring the arms up overhead, okay. You're going to hold into that bridge position and you're just going to bring the arms out a little bit and then you're going to bring them back up as you peel down. So the arms, when they come up above head, you're just doing a little bit of a traction there and then peeling back down as you come down, okay? So bringing that um, hip bone up and tailbone under, bringing the arms up as you come into that bridge. A little bit of a traction out to bring those arms into it and then peeling each bit down as you bring those arms back. So this one, we're just bringing the arms into it. We're also testing your coordination a little bit here because you're moving a couple of bits at the same time. Good. Lovely. Let's do one more. Fabulous, good, well done. Okay, just bring those things up again and stretch that, that out a little bit. You can do a little bit of a rock or you can make some circles. That one generally tends to look quite nice. Just get everything loosened off. Good, okay. So we're going to stay on the back. We're just going to finish up with some core activation and then we'll get into a different position. Okay. So we're going to start off with some hundreds. Okay. And um, so what you're going to do, you're going to bring your legs up to that tabletop position. Okay. One leg at a time, just to make sure you've got the right activation in there. You're going to pop the band onto the top of the knees like that. Okay. And then you want to hold sort of just to come just below the hip joint a little bit there. Okay. Um, and we're just going to do some pulsing into there. So you're just pulling the arms down and we're just pulsing the arms out. You feel that nice activation in the core. If you do want a little bit more of a challenge, you can bring the head off the mat. Um, but if you feel the strain through your neck, just keep that head nice and relaxed. Okay. Good. So with this one, with the breathing, if you want to bring that into it, your five pulses for breath out and five pulses for breath in. Good, last breath. So we're going to just take that to a different level. So what we're actually going to do now, we're going to come up into that bridge and then we're going to start those pulses there. Okay. So just find that rest position again, find that, that activation in the pelvic floor. You're just going to peel up through each kind of segment and bring yourself up into a bridge. Okay. And then you're going to bring your band. This time the band is going to be sort of mid, mid thigh area. Okay. And again, find that slack there. Okay. And we're just going to go into the pulses there. 
All right, so this one's going to just get that glute activation going. Five, four, three, two, one. Lovely. And then just make sure you're feeling down nicely. So that is well done. Okay. So when everyone's ready, we're going to come into sideline now. Okay. Um, so just get yourself up still. Um, and we'll give the glute a little bit of a rest. We'll work on the arms and the chest, and then we'll come back into the glutes a little bit as well. And um, you might want to pillow for this one. Okay. And um, so both of your arms are coming forward now. This one. So just get yourself nice and comfortable. Um, so we're just going to start off with some arm openings, but we're going to um, start off with what they call the bone arrow one. So you want a fair amount of snap, but um, you know, you'll know you have to play around with it a little bit with this one. So both arms are in front of you, okay? And you're just going to draw that top arm along the arm as if you're drawing back a bow and arrow, okay? Um, and when we do this, we're bringing our head so we follow the top hand with our eye line. So we just bring it all the way back and we're just following our elbow with that eye line there. Good. And again, as I say, you want to play around with the, the tension in the hands a little bit. But that will you feel nicely through that peck edge stretch at the end. And just a little bit of muscle activation in the hand as well. Good. Lovely, okay. Let's go with one more there. Okay, and then just come back. So this time we're going to go with the full arm opening. So really you're going to want quite a lot of slack in the band, okay, pretty much the end of the band, and I think that shortens one of yours. So again, just play around with it, okay. Um, and this time you're going to paint the rainbow with that top arm all the way up and over, following that eye line again into the hand. So you're getting a really nice stretch for that whole lot across its face. You're getting a little bit of rotation into the neck there as well. And then you're just going to bring it back. Good, that's it. Lovely. And each time you're doing that one, you want to just try and reach that arm a little bit further. And just be aware with this one that you're not rocking the hips backwards, okay? So the movement really is coming through that upper spine. You're not wanting too much of this sort of going on into the, into the lower back. Lovely. And let's do one more. There. Good. That's good. Okay. So we'll just um, bring this to the a little bit. Again, into that leg and core activation. So you're going to tuck the um, down under the top foot, okay? It's up to you whether you want that bottom uh, leg bent or straight and um, have a on the ribbon seat, what's more comfortable. I'm going to pop my top arm up here as well. Um, but again, just whatever's more comfortable for you, you can have both hands on the band if you'd rather, okay? So we're just going to go into some side kicks first, okay? So same again. First of all, you want to imagine you've got a bit of a stake going through. Um, the hips to the ground, it's a little bit of a goal imagination, but you don't want that top hip to move at all. You can have a glass of water on it and you don't want it to tip over. Okay, so you're just going to bring that leg, you're only really bringing it sort of just above skeleton board level, level. You don't want to bring it up too high. Okay, and um, we're just going to bring the leg forwards and backwards. And you're just keeping it at that skeleton board level. Okay. Forwards and backwards. And just be aware with this one when you come backwards that you're not extending through the back to try and get the left back. Just bring it as far as comfortable um, with it being able to engage that pelvic floor. Good. Just got to look at a nice little bone going on into the group there. Lovely, let's do two more. And two, good, okay. So if you can keep that leg up, 
And I'm um, just going to go into this and the notes, okay? So you can bring that leg up towards the ceiling. And So you're going to really start feeling this tension going on now, okay? And then keep going, and then we'll give it a rest afterwards, okay? So same again, we're not trying to get the leg too high, you're just going to towards quickly without picking that hip up, okay? Lovely. Feeling that bone going on. Very nice, feel that. Good. Okay, so one last thing, you're going to bring that leg all the way up to the top, and then we're just going to do some pulses at the top there. Okay, I'm really going to be feeling that in my feet now, I know I'm not for sure. Good, keep going. Lovely. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent, and relax that pain. Okay, bring that leg up a little bit. Okay, get a little bit of a stretch in there. You might want to give up a little bit of a bump. Good, okay. And then when you're ready, you're come onto the side. Obviously, let's go all over because we're on camera and we're going to switch everything up. Lovely, okay. And first of all, we're going to come onto those arm openings. So you're going to have both hands in front of you. So you might want to turn the pin over it. It's a bit heavy if you want to turn the pin over it. We're going with it. We'll work with it. Okay. So first of all, as I say, we're going to do the burn arrow style there. So not too um, not too tight, but not right at the end of the bands either. Okay. And you're just going to draw that top hand along the arm, following that eye line of the elbow, and just stretch backwards. It's just as if you're preparing to let go of the bow. Just have a look at that back elbow. In there. Good. Good, one more. Excellent. And then we're going to bring a little bit more back into that band and we're going to go with the full opening there, okay? So, same again, you're just painting that rainbow all the way along the top line, bringing that arm all the way back and following with the eye line there as well, just making sure that you're not hitting the radiator, so that you're not rocking that hip backwards, okay? Huge room, I'm still managing to dump the radiator. <laughs> Good, okay. And each time you go, you're just trying to get that arm a little bit further. Just feel that stretch and tension in there. Lovely. Brilliant, okay. And um, let's do one more. And then relax down there. Good, okay. So we're going to come into that little sideline group series again. Okay, so just tuck that foot into the band to try and get yourself comfortable, whichever position you'd rather. Okay, and we're going to go into that side kick first. Okay, so foot about level just above the surfing board, and you're just bringing that foot forwards and backwards. So you can on this one point your toe slightly as you come forward and bring the heel back. I tend to find that if you do this one with a band, I tend to find that you can myself with it. So um, if you feel more comfortable, just keep that. Look nice and steady. Good. Make sure you've got a nice tension through there. So this one, you're going to find it easier coming forward because the balance is pointing out, but much harder in that heel coming backwards. Same again though, don't rock too far back. You don't want that pelvis to lose, to lose its position. Lovely. Let's do two more. And then, as I said, if you can, keep that leg up. And we're going to go straight into the lift and lower. So we're just going to bring the foot up towards the ceiling and back down. Same again, when you come back down, you're just coming to that second board level. You're not going all the way down to the floor. Um, and again, you're not lifting the leg too high. You don't want that pelvis to dip up. 
Well done. No feeling bad in that side. <laughs> Two more, and then we're going to lift that leg up, and we're going to come into those pulses. Good. Well done. Excellent. Five, four, three, two, one. Lovely. And lower that leg back down. Good, so again, bring that leg up, give that leg a little bit of a stretch um, and uh, stretch that glute out. We've done a lot of glute work today, so well done. Lovely, okay, brilliant. Let's um, hand away onto your back. We'll just have a little bit of a stretch out to finish up the knee there, okay. Um, we'll just come into a bit of a hamstring stretch. So tuck that down into the foot, bring that leg up to the ceiling. Um, and you're just using the band to pull into that stretch a little bit. Um, you don't want to bring the leg too high up, but just feel where it's comfortable. If you do want a little bit more of a stretch, you can straighten that bottom leg out, okay? You'll feel that little bone. Get that bottom hamstring a little bit more. Just a nice stretch out, good. Lovely. Brilliant. And then relax that leg back down. And you move one foot into the other. Into the other. And then bring that leg up. And same again if you want to make that a little bit stronger, you can stretch that leg out. But just find a comfortable stretch for you. Okay, just tuck those knees up, give them a little bit of a rock in there. You can go one way and then onto the other way as well. And then we'll just get a nice stretch through those flexors, so just straightening everything out. Really stretching those fingertips to so one more and feet to the other. Just feel a really nice stretch through there. Good. Lovely, and then when you're ready, just bring yourself back up to standing, keep the band there. Okay, lovely. So we'll just um, cool down a couple of walks through the feet, okay? So we're just gonna come up and onto one heel at uh, one time, um, and then you just get push that heel through the floor when you come down. You'll get a little bit of a stretch into the calf doing that. Good. Good, lovely, and take this out. Um, and then we're just going to take a deep breath in, take the arms all the way up. Good, and drop it down, and take the arms up. Lovely, this time once we're taking the arms up, we're going to drop them all the way down, and just let everything drop down. Okay, good, and a breath up. And drop down. Lovely, well done, fabulous. So that is your um, band class for this morning. Um, I know sometimes some of you do the myofascial release class with the balls afterwards. There are videos on the um, Oso Wellbeing uh, YouTube page if you want to do that. Otherwise, I think most of you by now know the routine. Um, if anyone's got any questions, I'll hang about for a few minutes. But otherwise, I hope you enjoy the weather and it's not all too hot for you. And um, we'll see you soon. Fabulous.